Good afternoon. Hello, Kinga. Uh, so my guest is uh, Katalin uh, Chassar. Uh, she's an attorney at law, and uh, she's a very, very good friend of mine for many years now. Welcome, Katalin. I'm very happy that you accepted my uh, invitation for this podcast. Thank you very much for having me. Uh, I will have a couple of questions. First of all, why do you like Dubai? Why, why is it uh, that Dubai uh, is under your skin and you have to come back <laughs> every now and then? Yeah, I always have to come back. Uh, actually, it's one of my favorite places in the whole wide world. And um, I, I, I don't think that I can name just one single reason. Um, there are plenty of reasons why I love Dubai. But uh, one of the most important reasons is, I think, the mindset of the people. Uh, all of them are always so positive. I never, never had a bad experience. Uh, everybody's always kind. And I don't think that this is some sort of artificial kindness. I think this comes really from the, the lifestyle and the opportunities. Uh, that these people or, or the people who are living here are always nice uh, to each other, are always positive to each other. And uh, I think this applies to all of all kinds of um, relations like uh, uh, business related or personally related. And I don't think that I'm being too naive or something. I know this might sound very naive, but, uh, but I think that if you are living every day in a very supportive environment, then you just become like this. And this is very unique here. Yes, it's true. It's true. I have a friend who's, who keeps saying that anyone who moves to Dubai becomes uh, more ethical. <laughs> and that's yeah, true. Because I, I agree. Because somehow the lifestyle, somehow the mindset of the people, as you very rightly said, um, uh, is contagious. So. Yeah. And also, uh, if you are, for example, let's say you're working here. Okay, let's not even talk about <clears throat> having your own business. Let's just talk about, I don't know, you're being employed at some company. You feel like, in my opinion, that you are, it, what, what you are doing actually is making sense, even financially. Just Think about other countries, you're paying, let's say, 30, 40, 50 percent tax, which means that practically for five months in a year, year, you're working for free. And who would like to do this? Here, at least, you have to work hard. Maybe you have to work even more hours than as you would be in Europe, let's say. But eventually it makes sense. So um, if you are in such a supportive environment, I think that this is this is the result and also on the level of companies and I think that you know it very well because this is what you're actually doing helping companies uh, um, the taxation here the whole system is like completely different and and this is another level in the business, in my opinion. Yes, I agree with you. I agree with you. I think uh, the government of the UAE is uh, is very positive and supportive towards companies. So, so basically, um, here companies can grow faster, can expand much faster, and and. After all, that's what determines an economy. So that's how you define economic growth. Yeah, I absolutely agree. Yeah. yeah. And um, uh, now this will be uh, quite uh, an interesting question. You as a woman, um, have you ever faced any um, difficult situation or any um, not so positive um, uh, situation here? Here in the UA, never. I've never had any bad experience, I have to say here. And... Um, in my opinion, if you go to such a country, let's say uh, an Arabic country, a Muslim country, you have to know that there are cultural differences. And if you go there as a guest, you have to respect these differences because you need to know that you're the guest and you have to adapt to the situation, to actually everything there. But uh, I don't think that this is um, such a big thing that... Um, Actually, it's it's very easy, and uh, if you respect uh, the culture, if you respect 
whatever you need to respect, then I don't really think that you will ever have any bad experiences or you need to face any negative situations. Amazing. So um, you uh, encourage other ladies to come and... Uh, I absolutely do. They should I not be afraid do. of visiting Dubai. And, no, absolutely uh, not. I think actually Dubai is the safest place in the world. Like uh, just um, an experience of mine. Uh, once I went to... Um, wash my hands in a, in a, a lavatory in the Dubai mall and I saw the latest edition of the iPhone on the charger on the ground and actually the owner was not there so you can leave uh, uh, the most expensive phone on the ground in a lavatory in a mall where where would this happen uh, in, the, in the whole world without uh, uh, having to be afraid of stealing it so yeah yeah I have it's a story I have a story uh, about that as well. One of my clients, uh, he wanted to buy an expensive watch. So um, he brought 80,000 euros in one envelope. He grabbed the taxi, he took the taxi to the shop, and then he got out of the taxi, went to the shop. That's when he realized he left the envelope in the taxi. Yeah. So uh, like, <laughs> you know, it wouldn't have taken any effort from the side of the taxi driver to not admit that it was there. However, uh, the, the 80,000 euros was returned within less than 10 minutes and uh, without anything missing from the envelope. And, uh, and this is, again, something that can only happen here. Yeah. So this is Dubai. It's yeah. Dubai. It's the safety of Dubai. Yeah, absolutely. Now, would you consider moving here and living here? Actually, as you know, I'm always considering moving here. Yeah, but um, uh, I have a business in my home country, actually. So it's a bit difficult. Also, for family reasons, it's a bit difficult right now in this very moment to move here. But uh, this is my ultimate goal. So I think that... Um, not in the uh, far future i will i will move here eventually i will be very happy to have you here <laughs> <laughs> thank you okay thank you so much for accepting my uh, invitation thank and you for having uh, i me. wish you a very lovely stay while thank in you. dubai enjoy thank you so much thank you see you